Conservation officials track down their guy, a large black bear in St. Louis County. Take a look at that. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lauren Traeger. The bear was on the move for most of the weekend spotted in neighborhoods from Kirkwood to Brentwood. News 4's Emma Hogue is live tonight in Richmond Heights near East Linden and Buck Avenue. That, Emma, is where officials captured the bear just a short time ago. But, Emma, truly, this bear actually captured a lot of our attention as well this weekend. Yeah, Lauren, we could barely believe it. This bear was the talk of the neighborhood for the entire evening. All of us had our eyes fixated on this tree. That's where that bear climbed all the way up into. This is video you have to see to believe. Check it out. We're told the bear was about 150 pounds and around two years old. He climbed up into the tree around five tonight. He was tranquilized three times and sat there for a few hours and finally crawled down around 830 looking really sleepy. The Missouri Department of Conservation loaded him into a cage. He was taken, we're told, into the far country. Wildlife experts say they'll stay with him until he wakes up again just to keep eyes on him. Most everyone, as you can imagine, who lives in this neighborhood, especially kiddos, will tell you this was a night they'll never forget. At first I thought it was a robber that, that why was the cops there here? But now I know it was a bear. I started crying and I, I was like so scared. And then like her dad said it was a bear and I was like, oh my God, it's a cute little bear. And then like I came out here and like I saw that it was in the tree. And like it was just like so cool. I can't believe that I got to witness this. I knew it was brown and I didn't know where it was like from or anything. My mom said it was from the zoo. And I was really, really... I'm shocked and I'm like happy. It's wild. We love to uh, travel to like Colorado and Montana and we drive, you know, all day looking for bears and now there's one in St. Louis. Kind of cool. About 150 pounds of juvenile. So yeah, we're going to take him out uh, out in the far country and I'll sit with him until he's awake and able to move all completely on his own. I'll check his respiration, his blood flow, make sure everything's going good keeping close eyes on him tonight. So yeah, the conservation department says this is something we could see a lot more of in the coming days and weeks. But as you heard the excitement and those kids voices, they tell me they can't wait to tell their other classmates and teachers tomorrow. Really something none of us out here could believe. Reporting live from Richmond Heights, Emma Hogue News 4. Of course, a happy ending as well, Emma. Thank you. Conservation officials believe he was likely looking for a mate, looking for love, but in all the wrong places. Take a look at this. As we mentioned, this black bear was spotted in many places across St. Louis County this weekend. Earlier this evening, a teenager in a car captured this picture of the bear near Hanley and Interstate 64. That could have been a lot worse, of course. We know he's safe tonight instead. This afternoon, he made an appearance in Brentwood. This video was recorded by a family at the Brentwood Swim Club off of South Central Avenue. The bear made its way out of the tree line just as kids were taking tennis lessons. It took a few seconds. I realized it's a bear. And then there were some other parents sitting there. So I yelled at everybody to please come onto the court where we can lock the gates and make sure that everybody was safe. And then we first started getting reports of the bear last night in Kirkwood. Look at this video. News 4 spoke to a woman who said it was in the backyard of a home near Ursuline Academy. Kirkwood police posted this video from last night. Again, the bears traveling days, though they're over now. He is safely in the care of the Missouri Department of Conservation tonight but not without his own 15 minutes of fame. He even has his own Twitter account tonight. Luckily, nobody hurt and the bear not hurt as well.